Hello, hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Let's see who's here. Sleepoke, hello, hello, O-T-R-D-L. Hello from the US, hello from Brazil, how are you? And I noticed that you subscribed, so thank you so much for that. And who else is here? Evo, hey, Evo, how are you? Kawabata and Cherny Charo and Undecided Shark, how are you guys? All right, uh, we have a lot of things to do today. We have uh, to... F Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, yeah, I was, I was not sure if it was working. All right, okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to finish, uh, we're going to assemble the pedal that we started yesterday. Then after that, we're going to unbox GMK paperwork, which is a 40% kit that I received today. And last but not least, we're going to build the Perry 60, which is a, a box that, uh, sorry, a board that we unboxed. I don't remember if it was yesterday, but it was a couple of days back, I think. All right, so I don't know if you guys know about this. Let me show you guys. We have this paddle here, uh, and yesterday we used this Pro Micro here to program, and we created um, a little program for the Arduino that basically sends a command over the serial port here every time we click the switch. So today we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna um, desolder this cable. And we're, uh, as you can see, I printed a new case that allowed me to put those kind of standoffs that we have to put the, um, this Pro Micro here. So we're gonna put it there like that. And then we're gonna solder he that here in place in a way that we can then connect the cable here. And we're gonna see if that works using this switch instead of this one. So. And pogo pins, what are those? So, and on this one, the, the place where you actually snap the switch didn't break. So we can always also use that to snap the switch in, which is always good. Hold on one second. Let me see one thing here. It did not break yet. Yes, and uh, here's what I had to do with the other one, which we can always do with this one as well. I just put a little drop of uh, of hot glue here, and then it it stayed in place. Just a little drop, like one nothing. And now this one is fully in place. You can barely see that is uh, that there is hot glue here, but trust me, there is a little bit. It's not visible on the naked eye, but if we use a microscope, you might be able to see it. <laughs> I'm messing with you guys. <laughs> when you need to do like a mechanical um, resistance like this, you need a lot. So we may get to that. But that, with that said, I tested this with my feet a lot, you know, for a long time. And it it is it is really solid after that little drop. All right, so let me Turn on the soldering iron. And let's get this started. Let me just, uh, first of all, let me desolder this from the Pro Micro here. Let's see if I can give you guys more zoom in. Let me see with the side view if this looks any better. Oh, my side view just crashed. That's not good. Hold on. Let me see why. Uh, give me one second, guys. Let me see side view. The Where's that side view. Let me deactivate and activate to see if that changes anything. There we go. We're back. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if I zoom in here. If we get a better view. Yes. Yeah, so, but I think that my hand may be in the way. No, I think that's good. 
All right, so let's desolder this first. There we go that's off and now let me see if i should solder this in place here no i think i'll take out the standoffs and that will be easier so just let me just uh, make sure that i get the exact position for this which i think is here you guys are not seeing what i'm doing this is the position let me try to solder at least one pin on each side so at least we know where this should go let's do that get some solder sorry for the blocking the camera like that So now I can solder the rest of the pins and I can solder the wires as well. So let's do that. So we have enough enough uh, mechanical resistance. Now I just need to solder ground and pin eight. So let me put a little bit of solder on pin eight. There we go. And then where is ground? We have one ground here. So let me put a little bit of solder on that pin as well. There we go. Now I need to solder this. Let me see the best way to do it because here's how this is going to be. We're going to put it like that. And then this thing needs to go in like this. So let's see. So I think this goes to eight. Yeah, so we're going to put the yellow one on pin number eight and the green one on ground. Yes, so yellow. Maybe something at a fruit trinket would make sense due to the screw hold down point. Oh, I don't even know what that is, the trinket. The only thing I have from Adafruit, which is something that I will be trying to do as a, you know, the next version is this guy. I don't know if you're familiar with this guy. This is the Feather, the 32U4. And I want to make this pedal wireless, you know, on a future incarnation of this. So that's coming on a, you know, a future episode. I need to research a little bit more how to do the communication layer, but that's definitely something I want to do. All right, so let's uh, solder this thingy here. Let's do that first. So this is going to come from this side. So let me actually do it like this so you guys can see what I'm doing. I may need a helping hand. Hold on, let me grab a helping hand. Let 
You think it's a bit pointless? Why? Then I don't need to run a wire from the ground to my computer. And I'm, we're, we always learn something on those occasions, right? That's, uh, that's another thing. I will learn how to program the... So again, this is going to come from there. It's going to be there. And then, yeah, so let's... Let's actually use this helping hand here and let's put this other guy here and I'll fix the focus in one second, guys. Let me just see. Let me fix it now. Hold on. There we go. So then we need to put this little wire around there. So you would not care. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I know. I get it. You need a battery. Yes. You need a wire from time to time. True. Oh, let's take a look at the trinket. Hold on. Let me open it here. And let me switch to the screen. Oh, it's Circuit Python and Arduino ID. So what is the benefit of using this? Is that because it's a smaller footprint? But you're right, uh, Panda. You would need to connect that from time to time to recharge the battery. Yeah, not something that I thought about, but I think it would be fun nevertheless. Smaller and off pins and has the mounting. Oh, the mounting points for screws is, is really a nice thing. I'm going to get one of those to, to play with as well. I like it. So let me see if I can actually make this thing go through the hole. Oh, I changed the wrong place there. So let me actually put this a little bit un over like this. Yes, like this. Perfect. See if I can make this go through the hole. Done. I like wireless stuff and it's fun, but in yeah, it, it needs to be practical. I totally agree. And this other one is a little more thick, so or thicker, if you will. Let me just change this. Let's go here instead. Let me get this. Hold on. And let me see if I can. Yeah, that's what I thought. This thing is too. This would work, but it's far from ideal. So let me see if I can take it out and we can. Hold on, let me do something here. Give me one second. Can't wait to learn how to do unifying stuff. Yes. Those things are so complex. Like uh, even, even Bluetooth, if, even programming the feather is so complex. The key Logitech keyboard have a nice wireless module. Yes. True attorney, Charo. That is the unifying thing, which is pretty cool.
Hey, Protein Bro, how are you? Do I think it would be nice to make the program so you can use it with something other than a paddle? Yes, for sure. We, we want to make a, a macro pad or something like that. And maybe we can make a macro pad that is wireless. That, that's a great idea. Okay, this is not going the way I planned. Hold on. This is too big. Let's see now. Or maybe what I can do is use this other ground here and just add a bit of solder. That would be a lot easier, actually. Let me do that. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Let's just put this under this ground over here. And then we can just add a little bit of solder here. Like that. There we go. How are you planning on getting the foot pedal to work? Oh yes, uh, there is a. I published a a YouTube video yesterday, Top Clack. So there, uh, it's on my YouTube. You can see I did the whole programming. But basically, what happens is on the Arduino side, every time there is a click, we're gonna send a message through the serial cable to the computer. And then the computer has a program that I did in Node.js um, that it listens to the serial and it triggers uh, the OBS API to change scenes. Um, so basically that's what we did yesterday on the first episode. Hey, Amit, how are you? But if you're curious, uh, definitely check out my YouTube video Hey, Kangpa, how are you? All right, so I think this is connected. Now we just need to make sure that it works. Um, I'm gonna open up the Arduino IDE uh, and flash our program here to see if that's still working. Let me do that. Hold on, let me move the soldering iron aside, get my keyboard so we can do that. Hold on. Yes, the case is 3D printed, and I can show you that. Hold on. This is the case, and this is the top piece. You can see how they snap together with those nubs on the side. And basically, we have also some nubs here on the bottom that attaches to this switch holes. So it basically snaps in, pay, in place. Hey, Sophia, how are you? And VTT, I don't know if I said hi. If I didn't, hi. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, let me open up the... Is there a Duino ID open from yesterday? No, it isn't. So let's open it. Okay, and now I need the cable to connect the Arduino. Where is that cable? Do I have one already? Yes, I have the same cable we used yesterday. So let me plug it in. So you guys can see here, I'm gonna plug it in. There we go. And then we need to send this program to the Arduino here. And I used the wrong one, didn't I? <laughs> How stupid am I? 
that means stop. Yeah. Couldn't find a port because we we're probably on the wrong port. This is the Arduino we want. So let's plug it in. Now we need to go, let me actually make this full screen tools, uh, not tools, sketch, no tools, port com 13. Now we can send it to the Arduino. Okay, that's done. We need to open the serial monitor and see if it's detecting our clicks. Yes, it is. You can see click there every time we click the switch down here. So perfect. We have this new um, thingy flashed with our little program on the Arduino side. Now let's go back to the side view here. Let me push this back there. So now what we need to do is two things. We need first to make sure that this is going to reach Oh, let me see the best way to show you this. So basically, we push it like, and I think it's gonna break every any minute now. It's already kind of wanting to break. Well, hopefully not. So you can see that it snaps in place there. Now what we need to do is, oh, and is it too short? Maybe it will be too short. Let me see. Oh, it's barely making it. I may need to replace this cable. Bummer. It's just a little bit short. It's almost nothing. But it's enough. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Maybe I can pull it out like a little bit because it's literally just a tiny little bit. See if I can push it out a little bit. It's not working. We may need to redo the whole thing. like <laughs> one little inch shorter than it should be. Let me see if I can pull it on the on the switch side. So frustrating. Okay, it looks like I have some leeway here. Let's see now. I think it's gonna work now. Yes, it is. Perfect. Can you guys see? We're in place here and it's exposed on the USB port. Let's just make sure that this still works. Let's see if I can connect it here. Oh, is this cable too thick? No. We have it. Oh, it is. Let me grab another cable that isn't as thick. Hold on. Just switch yellow one with the green one. Yeah, that, that could be another way. But I think we solved that. Uh, so let's plug this cable here, which is a little slimmer. And I think this one will work fine. Let's push it in like that. Let's make sure that this is in place, which it is. Let me replace it on my hub. Hold on. Okay, this is disconnected. I don't see it appearing. Mm, I don't know. I don't think this is working. Maybe this is a maybe this is a, a charge only cable because it's not doing anything. Hold on. It is. Yeah, you're right. It's, it probably is. So we have a dilemma here <laughs> because I made the, this thing not big enough. 
me see. Maybe what I can do is for the sake of this, I can just uh, make this hole a little larger using the soldering iron. Then I can print another one later with a larger cutout. There we go. Let's see if that's enough. Let me plug it in here. Yes. It's working now. It is detected by the computer. Let's just make sure that this is working. No, and it's okay. I can I can always print another one later. So let's move to the screen. Let's see. I don't know if I... Yeah, I probably need to reprogram it. Hold on. Hmm. Let me close this and open it again because I think something went really bad. God, English is hard to do. Oh, tell me about it. Let me see. File, open, recent, pedal. Let's see if we can flash it now. Yep, looks like uh, it did. Let's take a look at the monitor. Yep, there we go, it's working. So every time I click this, it's showing you click. So that means that we have a working product. All I need to do now is let's do two things. Let me put the top, the pedal piece. Let me go here. Move it out of here. Focus. Uh, because otherwise the monitor doesn't appear. It's just a problem with the serial monitor. You don't have to. How can I show you this? There we go. So this pedal is already working. Look at that. And let's take a quick look at the screen to see if we're still having. Yeah, so it clicks every time we do it. So now all I have to do is close this and go to my little program. Then we can do node index.js. It is connected to Arduino on the correct port. And now look at down here uh, when i click this what is supposed to happen is for this thing to go from the screen sharing view to the face new let's do that let's click it and see if that works yay so we have a working pedal my friends every time i step on it it changes from one to the other and it transitions between the three states see every time i step on it i change views and the nice thing is that I can define um, which one I want, like um, which ones I want. Let's see if I can open the, where is the, I think I closed it. Yeah, I think I did. So hold on. Let me stop this real quick. Let me open up the, so we're, we now we're, we're transitioning between like screen sharing and face new and side view, right? Uh, we could change this potentially. I could do like, top new like this and then we will we, we'll transition from those let's see if that, that happens let me just start with the top okay let's see top face side top face side hold on someone is calling me give me one second
All right. It would have been nice if it had a little visual interface where, yes, that's where we're taking this. Um, there's a little tool called uh, Electron that allows you to do like a UI for that. So that's where we're taking this. We're making this a full blown Windows app where you can pick uh, the ones that you want. It lists all the OBS. So we're getting there uh, eventually. I just wanted to have it functional. So, and I think this wraps up episode two where we can, you know, put it, I'm, I'm gonna put it on my feet now uh, for the rest of this stream. I'm gonna see how comfortable it is to, to switch between, you know, views using this. And we're gonna transition between those three views. My face view, my, oh, there is a few other things. Mr. Keeps keyboard ecosystem with desktop app. Yes. There's another thing that I want to do, uh, Panda, and we're going to do this on episode three. Uh, I'll, if I press and hold like this, what I want to do is go to my main view. And my main view is going to be like the top view, this. So when I, when I press and hold, it's going to transition to that. So this way I can have like three different views. But every time I press and hold, it resets to the top view. If that makes sense. Yeah, so, and, and also, I don't know if how feasible it is to do that with your feet, but I wanna have a double click detector too. So you can have different, 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 um, different actions when you do one single click, a double click, and a long hold. So we're gonna do that on episode three. So just to finish up episode two, I'm gonna disconnect it from, from here. And I'm gonna put it on my feet. So let me do that right now. Hold on. You guys won't be able to see it, but trust me, I'm gonna put it on my feet. Hold on. Yeah, I thought about doing a feed cam, but since I'm barefoot, uh, I didn't want to you guys to put you guys through that. All right, so it's on my feet now, but we need to do something. We need to reload the app because the USB port changed. So let's go to the screen and let's restart this. Let me stop. Oh, hold on. I always go to the wrong place. Let me stop it. Let's start it again. And now you can see it's on COM11. So I'm gonna use my feet now and I'm gonna uh, step on it. There we go. So now I can change. I don't need hands to change my, my view. How cool is that? You see? So now <laughs> uh, for the rest of the stream, we can do that. We can, we can use the, <laughs> the feet. It's so funny <laughs> though. All right. Uh, that's the end of episode two. Thank you guys. Now we're going to go to 